name's Brian Marland. Um, I, uh, I've built this 1981 Audi Coupe GT5S. I've had it 10 years now. Um, it's kind of a bit of a part of me now. <laughs> um, it's kind of finished, but I don't think they're all they're ever finished. So uh, I've still got a list of jobs that I want to do, but it's on the road and I'm having fun with it. And, uh, and I take it to as many shows but, and use it as hard as I can. So this car was my granddad's uh, retirement present to himself back in 1981. And uh, uh, he used to take me on holiday in it, um, uh, take me to school in it. Um, and it was his pride and joy for, for many, many years in his retirement. Uh, and then unfortunately, when he, when he passed away, uh, my, my uncle took ownership for a couple of years, but, um, but sold it after, you know, to chase his own dreams with car ownership and stuff. Um, but it didn't get, it didn't go too far from, uh, quite kept quite local to where he lived. Um, and at that point I was still quite young and didn't have a great deal of, uh, of money at the time, even, you know, when he was selling it. So, uh, I'd let him sell it on. Um, but then times change. Um, I got a house with a garage and a few quid in my pocket and, uh, and I, I, I rang him and asked him if uh, he knew if the car was still about. Um, he believed it was still local, made a couple of phone calls and, uh, and found out that the guy still had the car and um, we negotiated a price and I took a trailer down and picked it up about 10 years ago now. Yeah, <laughs> there's the story. So uh, the guy still had the car but um, he'd been uh, caught for drink driving um, and the car had been off the road for oh, about five years, I think, um, when, when, when we found it. So it'd been parked on some grass and uh, kind of five years of, you know, four heavy seasons and took its toll on it. Um, the, the paint was flat, uh, the, the, all underneath where the moisture from the grass had gone up and all the all the suspension and the, and the, and the exhaust, and everything, all the, all the metal, well, all the underside of the car was very rusty. So, uh, so unfortunately I, I bought it for, well, fortunately I bought it for very little money, uh, but I had to bring it home and take it completely to pieces, nuts and bolts, and, and start again from scratch. So, um, so yeah, it was in a very poor condition to a point where I've actually had to, I actually, uh, on eBay, another car, similar one to this, but better condition with MOT, um, came up for sale and uh, and I needed the parts to, to, to finish this and you just can't get them so I bought the car on eBay drove it home and uh, and, and cut it up <laughs> to uh, to salvage the parts to make this car that was rotting in the corner usable again so um, yeah uh, it's been a long road and and this car's probably made up of about two or three cars now actually um, but uh, but it was important to bring this one back this one has all the sentimental value and um, it doesn't really matter to me anymore what the inherent value of the car is. I, I'm never going to sell it. So actually what it's financially worth on the road is kind of inconsequential. Um, it's worth more to me just for sentimental value um, and, and staying in the family, which is also kind of why it's not really standard anymore either because that didn't really matter to me either. The, the essence of the car, what my granddad bought and, and admired way back in the day, I've tried to keep as a vision, but build it more into kind of what I wanted to be able to drive around, what made me excited, you know, uh, makes the, the blood flow. And uh, it's very different to the car that, that he purchased way back in 1981, that's for sure. It might look like it from a distance, but... It's a different beast now. <laughs> There's one mind, one story that kind of uh, sticks out in my mind and everyone will enjoy um, being reminded of this uh, story as well. So uh, uh, not, uh, uh, so, so uh, no, it was last year, it was only last year. I, um, uh, I'd finished, in the winter I'd done a brake upgrade and um, I put big brakes on the car um, it's got Cosworth RS discs, 330 mil discs on it. And I, and I bought, uh, as a kit, I got some Brembo calipers and uh, cleaned it all up, painted the calipers, fitted them to the car. And in my uh, excitement, I must have forgotten to um, put thread lock on the bolts. 
So <laughs> uh, I finished the brakes, did it all up. Um, and, and about a week later or two weeks later was the retro ride show down at Goodwood. Probably one of my favorite weekends of the, of the, of the calendar. Um, and I was, I kind of got the car to a point where I was that confident in it that I booked track time. So I was going to take the car out on the circuit. I was very excited about this prospect. Got it all ready. Uh, the club were all going to meet up on the Friday. So uh, all I had to do was fill the car full of stuff and, and drive down to, um, drive down to Goodwood. It's about an hour and a half, two hours um, to get down there. And uh, I set off and everything was fine. And I went all the way down the motorway and um, you get towards Goodwood and you come off and you've, there's lots of back lanes and uh, uh, B roads to drive down. So I come off the main road, which is quite good, I suppose, in hindsight, looking back. And I'm driving down this road and all of a sudden I hear this do -do 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 -do. Oh, oh no. Bear in mind, I've built the whole car and every time I drive it, I always think what can undo or unwind or what's going to break or fall off. And, uh, and my worst nightmares all came to, to life. As a, from the front um, driver's side, uh, there, was a, there was a knocking noise, a very definite knocking noise. Oh, good God, what's happened? So I pull over very, as quickly as I can, delicately, and uh, I, I look underneath the car, and one of the, <laughs> one of the bolts that holds the caliper on the brake has, has unwound itself, and it's gone. That wouldn't be so bad, because I keep a spare. But what I didn't keep a spare of was, uh, because the brakes aren't designed for this car, they're made up of, there's a, an adapter, um, and the adapter is slightly different, I think, from the different years on the car, because when I bought the adapters, assuming they're all just gonna fit on, there was a gap of probably about eight mil that um, I needed to pack with washers to make the brake caliper spacing correct for it to work. And it worked for that weekend to get, you know, well, it sounds like a real bodge, but it, it wasn't bad. You know, I, I, I put the washers in there, bolted it all up and, and everything worked well. Um, until you lose the bolt and all the washers had disappeared. And I didn't have that many washers to put back in the, uh, to, to space the brake out to actually drive back down to, to, to the campsite and fix it properly. So I had my limited spares with me uh, in the boot, got the toolbox out. I had like two washers. I didn't have the five I needed to make up that eight mil gap. So what am I gonna do? I needed to space this out, otherwise I wasn't gonna get the, the brake on the car and carry on. And on the side of the road, I'm scratching my head. And um, as it happens, I got the... I had this spanner and that fitted in behind the brake caliper with the two other washers I needed to space it out. So I drove all the way from just off the motorway half an hour drive to Goodwood with a spanner sticking out of my brake caliper. Needs must. Uh, when I got to uh, the campsite and I had all my mates from my car club there and, uh, and I, I lift them, they all were very keen to help me fix the problem and I really didn't want to admit to them that I had a spanner sticking out of my brakes. Uh, when they saw the bodge that I'd made, uh, yeah, they, they all, uh, they were rolling around laughing. It was, uh, it was quite the bodge. And it got me there, but uh, yeah, it was quite funny at the time. Funny, I guess, than it sounds on camera, I don't know. But it, it was, uh, yeah, probably the funniest story to date on this one. Yeah. <laughs>